Hello everyone. It's 12 o'clock midnight. It's pitch dark outside. Peanut's in the bed sleeping. Mary goes on the slick kitchen floor sleeping. I think Skittles is wandering around. He might be back in the garage. But here I am and here you are. We're up at 12 o'clock. It's going to become Friday pretty soon. I'm holding in my hand uh, a bouquet, a basket of of violets. They're they're uh, they're one of my favorite flowers. I know we a few days ago, uh, lovers, husbands gave their uh, their beloved red roses, which stands for for love, for passion. Well, violets stand for humility. They grow so close to the ground. Humility, humus, means the ground or the the organic matter, the black dirt on top of the ground. And the and these little purple violets grow very close to the ground. And I, I love that because it reminds me of humility. Also, uh, it, it's hard to see the, the, the purple here because it's so dark or something. But also, uh, it, it also is a sign of penance or the, or the color. Uh, pretty soon, a uh, little less than a week on Ash Wednesday and throughout Lent, the priests and deacons will be, wear <coughs> will be wearing purple vestments, a sign of penitence, a sign of doing penance, a sign of conversion, a sign of 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 of, of, of doing uh, of fasting, prayers, and almsgiving. Uh, I wish you could see it better. I, I I'll have to get another a smaller kind of thing. But the, there are five petals and a little yellow um, stem in the in the middle. I just love them uh, uh, because they remind me of humility. By the way, I should be sit because uh, the violet's so close to the ground. Well, I don't have ground below me, but I have a floor here in my office. Uh, I should be sitting on the floor because I'm not propped up with a, a lot of accomplishments today. I didn't act very noble when I was called to, to, to serve, to change my own plans for the good of others. I don't have all those props, all that pride, uh, in my work. I don't I didn't get very much done that I wanted to get done So I don't have those to prop up on. I'm glad I don't But I was wasn't glad when it was all happening I I got to to pray a little bit and and realize the the solid groundness of humility I'm not standing on cardboard boxes of Consolations and things and they're good. They're important and accomplishment and uh, but uh, uh, but the cardboard box is when we stand on our own accomplishments. Like I could come to this YouTube and say, oh, look at all I did. Look how noble I was when I answered the phone and someone wanted needed help right now. To, I had to change my plans. It wasn't very noble. I tried. I, I, I'm sure the person must have seen my efforts and contortions trying to be as my words as noble as I could but didn't do very well. Uh, so uh, so, well, so I, you should see me on the floor, but I can't go on the floor because the camera, I can't do that. Anyway, I should be sitting on the floor, on the ground with these little violets who stay so close to the earth uh, uh, to, to show us humility. But I'm, in, I'm on solid footing. I'm on my littleness. I'm on God doing everything through me I'm not relying on all my accomplishments today because there wasn't very many. I'm not relying on how noble I responded to a person's need, a family's need. I don't, I didn't, that wasn't noble. I'm relying only on God and for this YouTube too. So, so here's the violets. Oh, you can see a little bit of them there, the violets. Uh, I'm sorry that you can't see them very well, but you know what violets are, African violets. If I had time, I would I would raise African violets. But I had a cactus I was supposed to water once a year, 
uh, 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 little exaggeration, and it died for lack of water. So, oh, that's a little exaggeration. But anyway, I'm not so good with that because I'm, I'm, I don't know, no excuses. Oh, uh, today, uh, just one more thing before I get into our subject. Um, this year uh, is the 200th anniversary of the of the birth of Charles Dickens, the greatest novelist of 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 uh, of, of the UK, of the England, of Wales and Scots, uh, and and Scotland. The the so I congratulate you across the Atlantic, uh, my brothers and sisters in 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 uh, the U United Kingdom, and this, your celebration of the 200th anniversary. I always I wrote in one of the blogs. Uh, and I, I, I just really, my favorite novelist too is Charles Dickens. He's so beautiful. He, he's serious and he loves the poor and he, he's a, a buffoon like me, uh, or I'm like him, I don't know which. Uh, he, he could do all that, all those characters and all. Uh, but he also, during, in England, I think it was the Puritans, they didn't like Christmas. And they, some people thought it was, um, so any papist or any popperies or any uh, Catholic or whatever it is, they thought Christmas was too Catholic or something. Oh, the poor things. But you know what? Charles Dickens didn't. And, and this, these two uh, Victorian Christmas caroler, carolers started a whole, uh, and with the, oh, with, the, with his beautiful uh, Christmas story. Oh, God, I can't even remember. You know, Tony Tim and all. It, it just made people think of Christmas. It restored Christmas to, uh, to 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 Mary O England, who was with the who these glum whoever they were Puritans or any Poperies or whatever. Uh, he he brought Christmas back and 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 ale and and uh, the, uh, Christmas trees and Christmas caroling, and and we have we have even today we have Christmas villages Victorian villages and having these Christmas carolers outside. These uh, the, the the houses they're caroling is because of Charles Dickens. And he just it just says so much for our culture and and for our our, our uh, for, for for the warmth of our hearts and the the uh, the humor all of that the the for the funny uh, oh not funny but the uh, the different kinds of characters he had and, and very serious things he he, he spoke up for the for the for the for the poor and the industrial revolution, all the stuff that was happening, he, he was so he was, but he did it in a happy way and a, um, a, a excellent way. He was he was an excellent. So I th happy uh, uh, Charles Dickens up there in heaven. In fact, I I have on my Facebook if you want to go there uh, that he had a dream and and uh, and it, and he really feels it was of the Blessed Virgin Mary. A lady in blue. She had never he had never seen this lady before, and uh, and in the dream he was confirmed in what he was doing. Do whatever you're doing, and at that time he was advocating for, oh these uh, for the poor who were thrown into these poor houses and living in in filth and in, in the slums of of, of London and all. Uh, anyway, so we feel he's very close to us Catholics who. Who loved our Blessed Mother and all oh, many other Christians too. We don't have a have a monopoly on that. But he, but he really, he really thought it was a Blessed Mother, and, and it silly sounds if you read this uh, article written by a um, one who really miss, uh, uh, Mr. Odie O D D I E. He uh, he 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 did a book on uh, Charles Dickens. Okay. Uh, so here's to, uh, Victorian carolers and Victorian villages, all that. He restored Christmas to merry old England. In Norm You're, God bless you, UK, and, and ha happy celebration of the 200th anniversary of Charles Dickens' uh, birth. Uh, uh, you, you, thanks, thanks for giving us, Charles Dickens, the whole world. Okay. Um, oh, I got something sad to tell you after Charles Dickens and the violets and everything. I saw a thing on TV, just a little, I got in the back of it uh, uh, toward the end, but how uh, the unborn baby in the in utero, in the mother's tummy, how how it, it experiences pain 
and I was just almost horrified. He, he, he showed that the unborn baby doesn't have a capacity to be anesthetized, you know, uh, to, uh, to stop the pain. And, and, and that the pain, when, he, when the underboard baby feels the pain, it's more than our pain. Uh, uh, excuse me. When we are anesthetized, uh, the baby is incapable of anesthetization. So he, 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 used a, he was using some kind of operation they were doing to children without anesthesia. And, um, and, and, and the, 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 the pain was so great that, that the baby or the child died because of the pain, not because of the surgery or the procedure. So later on, they, they gave, uh, uh, the doctors had, to, by their hypocritic, hip, his, their, their oath to, 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 to serve the patient, had to deal with the pain and anesthesia, by anesthesia, whatever way they could do to relieve the pain. Well, uh, in the in utero, the baby can't even be anesthetized. It's not capable of anesthetization, and 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 so uh, the baby, if, uh, 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 it's like it's like treating a patient without the, uh, outside the womb without any anesthesia, and it, it is a, it's very intense pain the baby goes through, and I feel so sorry for these babies, as you might remember. My, my my dear Cindy and I, uh, we 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 uh, adopted all the unborn babies that were um, aborted that their mothers and dads, because of circumstances, not to judge them, uh, didn't want to have them, didn't give them a name, didn't give them life, didn't did, don't, don't want them, maybe treated them, maybe not realizing what the pain they were causing their little baby. And, 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 and that this little baby was a little person, their son or daughter. Well, uh, Sidney and I, we adopted uh, all of those unborn. We give them, we give them our name. And uh, I always pray that I'll be a good daddy to all these millions of little children. She's a good mommy from heaven. She's helping me. And, and, and I, I did this on my own uh, while she's in heaven. So anyway, uh, I know that people have adopted other other children, unborn children who have been aborted, uh, and that's wonderful. So we there's plenty to to adopt to go around, and I know in heaven I this is only a temporary adoption, but I'll always love them as my sons and daughters. But in heaven everything will be made right. Uh, the mothers and fathers of the unborn will be reunited with their, their son or daughter, our sons or daughters. They'll be reunited and, and, and um, they, they will be together as a, as a, a mother and dad and family uh, forever, ever, ever in heaven. And don't worry, some got married and had other kids from other people. That's all will be taken care of. So, so my little raw hands, my little uh, babies, that we, to whom we give our name, uh, the status of personhood and a name. Everyone needs to be named. I can, I'm running out of names. Uh, anyway, um, uh, that they will all be reunited with their biological mommy and their biological daddy in heaven. So you, you, we all have that to look forward to. But, 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 but what I'm trying to do today, as a father of these children, uh, 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 that will, but might be aborted, they're still okay in the womb. Don't do that a procedure. It, it hurts the baby. It's, it's a terrible, terrible pain. Uh, it's, it's like uh, surgery without anesthesia, but even four times more. I forgot all that, the, the, all that kind of stuff. The, 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 but but it, it's terrible pain. And many states now have, have pain uh, laws against uh, us causing pain. And we are worried about our animals, and I wouldn't want anybody to treat peanut uh, or any animal uh, cruelly. That's against God's law too. But human beings in our own little flesh and blood, so, so treat them so gently. Welcome them uh, in, in, into the world. Welcome them. Uh, uh, and, uh, and, and don't let a, a surgeon who's, who's going against his oath and everything how could you trust a person with your baby, you know, if, if he's aborting other babies or anything? So, so don't uh, let us get the best obstetricians and gynecologists. 
let us let the let's uh, have have reproductive health you know and and the pregnancy isn't a disease so they're, they're trying to make it like a disease it's a wonderful gift from god no matter how things happen or whatever so so please please no abortions for the for the love of that little child not only for its life but for its comfort and not to torture it and and and, and kill it in, in your womb it, it's not right I, I know mothers didn't realize that. If they did, I, I have a feeling if mothers realized that that was a real baby in there, and, and we found out with uh, uh, the, uh, what you call it, the, um, the uh, ultrasound, when they see the baby, 80% uh, uh, or more will, will, not have, uh, uh, will not have the abortion. Because they, they can't, mothers will, will the mother forget her child? No, I know. Once they know it's a baby, they're going to fight for that baby like a mommy, uh, like a, every mommy does. God bless you.